Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Again, it's Burke Family 54 Comics. I am Steve. In today's video, we're gonna be uh, rearranging this comic book wall. So if you wanna see what it looks like when we're done, stay tuned for the video. All right guys, before we get into this comic book wall reorganization, um, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you know when I upload new videos. And if you could go ahead and like this video as well, that would do great things for the channel. All right guys, so uh, I like to rearrange my comic book wall every uh, every week or two. Sometimes I do it every couple of days if I have some slabs up there. So let's get right to it. All right guys, so before we can put any new comic books on the wall, we need to go ahead and check out my comic book closet and see what I have. So let's go do that. All right, so as you can see, this is where I put all my comic books. I have comic book shipping supplies up here just in case I need to sell anything. I just like to keep stuff. Um, I have my giveaway comic book box here. I have my slabs. I have my raw comics that are worth a little bit more. I do have one other slab up top here just because it's magazine style won't fit in here. I have some other ship, uh, other supplies here. My A to Z books, Batman, Power Rangers, and my Flash books and any of the other F books. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to get out some slabs. We're going to take a look at some of them, decide which one should go up. And then also get out some of my higher priced raw books. So let's do it. Okay, before we get into these slabs and bigger books here, um, I do like to sh would like to show off my corner here. This is where I do some of my work, not just for the YouTube channel, but for work. I'm gonna have my Action Comics 1 poster here, and as you can see, a lot of my um, action figures, and of course, that photo of me and Jason David Frank, the original Green Ranger. So I just thought you guys would like to see um, where I work and what my table looks like. Uh, before we look at these, I do wanna say that I do have these three shelves up here, as you saw earlier. So I can fit one slab or two co raw comics on each one of those, and I can fit five slabs on the top row or in the bottom row, five each, or six raw comics. So I can do six and six, five and five, five and six, five and six, whichever, whichever one. So uh, let's take a look at some of my books. All right, guys, I'm just going to start showing off some of the slabs that I'm thinking about putting up here. First one is that magazine style book that was on top. It's Raphael number one, CGC 9-2. I've really been into turtles lately. I actually started drawing and writing a TMNT book just for me to read it to my daughter. Um, so I've really been into the turtles. We watched TMNT, Secret of the Ooze, which is number two. So I think I'm gonna be putting up um, some of my TMNT books. So here's the first one. Definitely think, uh, you know what? Let's just go ahead and put this book, bad boy right here. There we go. Let's see what other books I can put up here. Uh, I got Power Rangers, Batman. Ooh, this is like one of my favorite books in my collection. We got um, Brave and the Bold 54, CGC 4.0, the very first appearance of the Teen Titans. You know, I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull this to the side and I'm gonna be putting this up um, on the back wall. Let's see, what other books can I put up there? Hmm. Oh, let me show off this bad boy. So this isn't really worth very much at all, but uh, this is the first comic book I ever remember reading as a kid. Um, it is Batman 497, CGC 9.6. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on the wall too. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this bad boy aside. Let's see, what else can I put up here? Let's see, oh. Let's see where, oh, here it is. So, uh, like I said earlier, I'm really into the turtles lately. Um, so I definitely want to put up another turtle book. We got Team and T number 95. This is cover A, CGC 98. This is the first appearance of Jenica. So 
I'm definitely gonna be putting this bad boy up there as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this with the other slabs. So right now we got three slabs I can put up there or over here. Um, and then this magazine style right here. Let me go ahead and take a look through the rest of these books. Ooh, I did just get this recently, so I haven't had a chance to display it yet. Um, this is Wolverine number one from the mini series, CGC 9.4. I just bought this back from Kavi over at Comic Books NYC, so I think I'm gonna be putting this bad boy up there too. Yeah, let me go ahead and put this over here. Okay, let's see what else. You know, I can never go wrong with putting up a Power Rangers book. I love, love, love Power Rangers. And this was an A-OK -okay from Carlito Classico. This is a beautiful cover. We got Power Rangers number five, the San Diego Comic-Con variant, CGC 9.8. Beautiful book. Love Power Rangers. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this aside as well. Uh, so right now I got five slabs. Uh, I'm gonna hold off on grabbing any more. Let's go ahead and take a look at this raw comic book box. All right, let's see what we got here. Some more of those Power Ranger helmet covers. Let's see. Ooh, this is a good one. We have Flash 139. This is the first appearance of the reverse Flash. I love the Flash. Big DC fan, big Flash fan. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and let's put that aside. Let's, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the wall somewhere. What else we got here? Should we put up some old books? What do you guys think? Uh, ooh, this is another good book. I just got this this year. This might be one of my favorite books in my collection uh, in terms of at least raw books. I am planning on getting it graded very, very soon. Um, we have Amazing Spider-Man 129, the first appearance of The Punisher. I think this is like a 3.0 copy. But, I mean, you can never go wrong with The Punisher. I love the TV series. I like The Punisher. I'm going to go ahead and put it with this uh, Flash book right here. So we got two, two raw books. We got five slabs. We got plenty of room to put up some more really cool books. Let's see what else we got here. Ooh, the next three books definitely going to be putting up there. This was another A-OK. -okay. This is Shazam number one. Um, this was an A-OK -okay from Los La Sombra 2579. I think that's the correct... Uh, <laughs> Instagram, uh, but yeah, he sent me the Shazam number one last year when I was looking for it. He's an awesome dude. He has an Instagram and a YouTube and another Instagram where he's selling comic books. So I really love the Shazam character. The movie was amazing. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the wall with some of the other raw books. Let's see. I got two other really cool books I wanna put up there. We got Batman 251. Look at this awesome cover. Now it is, you know, it's chipped at the top. It's probably in a two to three range, uh, but it's still an amazing Neil Adams cover. The, the colors on this just pop really nicely. And you know what, can never go wrong with this. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the wall too. Uh, we have another Batman book. Uh, this is actually graded higher, in my opinion, than the last two. We have Batman 189, the first Silver Age appearance of uh, the Scarecrow. Um, I need to get this graded along with the last couple books. Um, I just haven't done so yet, but it, I'm definitely planning on doing it. So for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on a comic book wall. So we have five raw books, we got five slabs. I can put up at least one more raw book up on my wall. Let's see what else we got here. Um, ooh, Batman Year One. We got a couple of really cool variants. We got Kingdom Come. You know, I haven't shown this off in a long, long, long time. Um, I have a student She's actually still a student of mine. I asked her to kind of create a uh, homage cover or homage of, I think it's Batman 615 or 612. Oh, go and put in the comments which one it is. I wanna say it's 612 uh, on this Action Comics cover. She did not trace it, she just looked at the picture and she drew it. It is a beautiful, beautiful sketch cover of Superman holding Batman's neck. And yeah, I, you know what? I want to put, I want to display this art that a student of mine did. So I'm going to go ahead and put it up there. All right. So now we have enough books for that wall. Let's, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the raw books on the bottom because they're easier to see. Because when I put up the raw, 
the graded books on the bottom you really can't see. So I'm gonna put the graded books up top, raw books on the bottom, and I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. All right, guys, uh, so I went ahead and I changed up the wall. I'm gonna go ahead and close these curtains so you can see it a little bit better. Much better. Okay, so I still have two slots up here for either four more raws or two slabs, and I like to put some Power Ranger raw comic books on top of my comic book short box of Power Rangers over here. So let's go ahead and take a look at some raw uh, Power Ranger comic books that we can put up there. Okay, I really, really, really like these. Uh, this is a number zero, second print signed by the actor JDF, Jason David Frank. Uh, I really love this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that up there alongside the number two, one of 25 Zord variant. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those over there really quick. Yeah, that looks pretty good. You know what else will make it look pretty good? I'm gonna go ahead and add one little thing to it. I think it looks really good. Okay, so I have two spots up here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put some slabs. I really, really like slab books. I put that money into it, might as well display them. So uh, let's take a look at some of my slab books again. Um, got another Power Rangers books. We got enough Power Rangers up here. We got Batman, how many Batman books? We got three Batman books already up there. Let's do something else other than Batman, Power Rangers. Ooh. What about another AOK -okay here? This is Teen Titans 12, CGC 96, the first appearance of the Batman Who Laughs. This was an AOK -okay to me from Carlito Classico. Really, really, really awesome AOK. -okay. I appreciate it, brother. I'm gonna go ahead and put this up here. And you know what? Maybe put a little, little Batman action up there with them. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. All right, we got room for one more on the very top. I'm gonna do another slab and I'm really gonna try really hard to stay away from Batman. Uh, we got Spider-Man, we have Green Lantern, more Power Rangers, more Spider-Man, more Batman. We got New Mutants. Uh, let's see here. You know what, This I don't really show up this book very much either. Um, this is really, really cool. I have any Marvel? I do have one Marvel book, so I can, I'm okay with putting up another DC, even though most of it's DC. Let's do another DC book. I love DC. We got Green Lanterns, number 20, for the New 52, CGC 9-8, the first appearance of Jessica Cruz. This was signed by the artist Doug Menke. Um, I think this book will blow up as soon as it's cast in the DCEU or on a TV show. This is a character that everyone loves. It's a female DC character. It's a Green Lantern. Um, I just think it's a really, really powerful character that's gonna heat up at some point. So I'm gonna go ahead and display this with Green Lantern number 20. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give you a real quick look around the room one more time. And let me know what you guys think in the comments of the changes that I made to my comic book walls. Again, this is Burke Family 54 Comics. I am Steve. 
Like I said earlier, let me know in the comments what you guys think of my comic book wall update. What are some things that I should be adding to my comic book room and wall? Let me know all of that and more in the comments. Again, I'm Steve, and remember, go Cats.